Welcome to Hardcore Skyblock. This is the series where we are suspended on a little dirt block above the void with very limited resources. We have to explore the islands around us all while trying not to die in Minecraft Hardcore. Welcome to the challenge. This is episode two. Ah, oh, the sun is rising. It's a good day in Minecraft Skyblock. Welcome to the bunker under the island. I've got my Christmas Starbucks coffee and I'm ready to get on with this sort of Skyblock grind. And there we have our first bone meal. Lovely. Please burn. Thank you. Yeah, so phantoms are kind of still a problem for us, but all in all on this island, we have been making very good progress. I have a very simple goal for us today. We need to create a mob spawner, which would unlock the ability to sleep if we gain some string, and it would also give us bones to expand our farm, and a bunch of other rare drops that would be really useful. So we're uh, we're gonna start with just some, some regular old grinding. I'm gonna need a lot of materials, like a lot, a lot. Yep, there goes one axe already. With a bunch of wood acquired, the next step is gonna be building out to where we want this mob spawner to go. Now, I don't really have a center point for this island selected yet, so I guess we can just kind of make one up and we'll, we'll go right here, why not? I'm gonna be doing a classic mob spawner design here. It's gonna have a three by three sort of entrance here. This is where the mobs will fall down. And that's so that spiders will also fall. If you do two by two, spiders have a little bit more of a struggle. We've got a whole forest. This is lovely. Okay, I've chosen a location for my mob spawner. Now comes the hard part. We have to actually build it. And there's a couple of things that we are very much going to need before we can get started. One of those things is a bunch of trap doors to trick the mobs into walking off. This is gonna take like a lot of trap doors. We'll start with a stack and see where that gets us. The other thing that we're most certainly going to need is water. Now we have water, but only one. We need a infinite water source, which we can currently get with our bone meal and some seagrass. Regardless of that though, there is also a water source on this map over there. And I figured it'd be really fun to start this episode off with a little exploring. So we're most definitely gonna make our way over there to grab the water. For now though, some more cobblestone grinding while the sun sets. Okay, the phantoms are burning, and we have our mission. We must go to the mangrove very carefully. Oh, I didn't bring the bucket. Hold on, one second. If I was playing in a normal world, I may bridge first and leave the bucket, but I'm playing in hardcore. If I go off the edge, I'm dead. World's done. Oh, here we are, okay. Lovely squishy mud. Oh, we've got a lily pad as well. And this is an infinite source, which is lovely. Means we can get more if we ever need it. I think for now, I'm gonna leave everything else here. Just see if we can get that. There we go, got it. I actually love the way that mangrove wood does saplings. That was so easy to get a sapling. I didn't have to chop it down. <laughs> so now we have unlocked mangrove wood, perfect. Now let's go ahead and get this infinite water source going, shall we? Now, if we can get some more dirt, we can officially expand out this farming area. This is perfect. Okay, we've got our building materials. We've got our water source. I think the only thing to do now is build. I'm very nervous. I almost always make some fatal mistake when I'm building these, so I'm just hoping I can chill and do everything right. I've done a mob spawner a million times before. I can do it without a death. The first key part of this is going to be getting it to the correct height. We wanna get this thing to 22 blocks tall. That's gonna be kind of the first key part of this. So we're gonna do 11 of these and 11 of those, and that should make 22, and that'll get us tall enough. Let's see if we can do this before the sun sets. Please no phantoms, please no phantoms, please no phantoms. That would be a really bad time for a phantom to spawn. It would be a really, really, really horrible. Okay, I did it. This is the height of our mob spawner. Lovely, let's get down before the phantoms come. I don't like the thought of that. It's definitely gonna be a interesting aesthetic. Quick cocoa bean harvest. It is currently the morning of day eight in this skyblock world and uh, I think it's time to be productive. Let's stop fluffing around, doing nothing, worrying about phantoms, and let's get to work. I think I have everything on me that I should need. Extra spruce log, we'll take some extra oak, some extra spruce. That seems about right, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? 
Mob spawners normally look a little bit ugly, but I'm gonna try to put some effort into this one and really make it a pretty mob spawner. I actually have this goal by the end of this series to turn this mob spawner into some sort of maybe mega tree or something like that. I've always wanted to have a really pretty skyblock island, but to be honest, I've just never found the motivation or time for that type of grind. But I feel like this holiday season, this is the one. I could do it. This whole alternating colored slab thing is actually really convenient. I recommend it. Oh goodness. This water is becoming more of a hazard than a help. Why has this happened? This doesn't even make sense. Hello? What? Now for this top layer, in order to keep it from getting too much light in it, we are actually gonna make these last couple of blocks solid. Okay, mission accomplished. I'm at the top. That wasn't so bad, if I don't think about it too hard. Okay, so now we need to build the actual spawn platform. This should be pretty simple. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the hardest part. That took literally all of my brain power to count that and <laughs> try not to fall in the process. Now, all we need to do is create the spawning pads and then put a roof on this thing and then it should be good to go. Problem though, sunset. Um, sunset not ideal for us. Also, for some reason, I'm using full blocks and not slabs. We're not gonna talk about it. I was on a roll and I forgot, okay? Make a quick infinite source of water. <gasps> oh dear. Yep, and on that note, I'm out. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Yeah, mm-hmm. Don't gotta worry about me. I will be down here. <laughs> oh, it looks okay though. Right, well, uh, this will give me a fantastic opportunity to get organized overnight. Now, it's morning now. It's my turn. It's my turn. Your turn is over very soon. All right, let's start with a little bit of farming before we head up to that. Very optimistic that we should finish this mob spawner today. I'm looking forward to it. I think we might have a bed to sleep in soon. That'll be so lovely. Okay, let's get all these trapdoors in place so that the silly mobs just walk straight off the platform. Oh my gosh, I made almost the perfect amount of trapdoors. It was perfect. Ah. All right, now all we gotta do is take down the torches and grab this water and get it in place. Okay, this all looks 100% correct. Let's go ahead and get this wall up and a roof on. This has taken a lot of spruce wood. I am down to my last little bit. Luckily, I do think I have enough. I should be able to finish, but my gosh. All right, there we go. Just like that. I think our mob spawner's done. <laughs> now I just need to find a way to gracefully get down. Um, yeah, this should work. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Okay, we're fine. We're totally fine. Oh, wait, I've, I've made a vital error. I've made a vital error, hold on. Okay, the mistake that I've made is that mobs can actually see me through that. Do you guys see that? Mobs will be able to view me. So that's a pretty big mistake. Let's go ahead and just block this in. Okay, everybody is dying. This is perfect. Oh, it's working so well, but I'm so nervous. I can't believe I forgot the bottom. I always forget something when I make these. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got our first string. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. The farm is on auto kill right now. As you can see, pretty much everything that's falling is dying. This is great at the moment. However, I want these bobs to be a one hit kill. So in order for that to happen, all I've got to do is, yep, right there. This is working so well. Oh my gosh. I actually kind of didn't expect it to be working this well. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is epic. We've already got 12 string and that is all we needed. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and make our very first bed. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Down to the bunker. This time to sleep. Oh, it's our very first sleep. Oh, thank goodness. Oh 
my goodness. <gasps> I've found another critical error. I think the creepers can see me. Okay. Please ignore me. Thank you. That's actually, it's fine. It's totally fine. Our first witch is in there as well. Okay, they're a little tougher to kill. We should be able to get her though. There we go. And she dropped a spider egg. Mm -hmm. Not great, but we'll work with it. Okay, I'm gonna use these barrels here to store some of our stuff. This one will be for rotten flesh. This one will be for bones and arrows. This one over here can be gunpowder. And this one will be our spider drops. Oh, that was really close. I gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here waiting for some rare drops. <laughs> like, for example, the chicken. Also an iron ingot or just the potatoes and carrots that are falling. Those are great, too. With the mob spawner established, it's time to go ahead now and replenish some of the things that we kind of ran out of in building that. One of those things is definitely spruce wood. Let's go ahead and do some farming, shall we? I want that carrot. I want it. It feels good to be caught up a little bit on some of the farming that's going on around here. We definitely are starting to get to the point where we need a bigger island, which is really impressive. I like that we're there already. Gosh, you guys are loud. We are gaining mob drops and items faster than I know what to do with them, to be honest. For safety and also aesthetic purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and surround this little mob spawner in a bit more wood. Now, of course, the first idea that I had for this was the bed, but we can also use string to make something else, a fishing rod. With this fishing rod and our brand new source of infinite water, we should hopefully be able to get some cool drops. It's really mostly just a matter of where do we place a giant ugly pond. Do you know what? Maybe over there. Now, it's gonna look a little silly to start, but I feel like it'll have some real potential by the end. All right, here we go. We've got ourselves a little pool for fishing. Now all we need is a little hut for some potential overnight fishing. And there we go, just like that. It's a little surprise uh, fishing hut. <laughs> now we should be able to fish in here all we want. Now, let's see if we can get anything, shall we? Come on, fishies. Yeah? Oh, we got a salmon. Perfect. Now that I think of it, this might actually be a way better source of food for us. Although, I don't know that I can see myself constantly fishing on Skyblock. We got stuff to do. Speaking of stuff to do, it's back at the cobblestone generator for a while. We're really getting low on cobble, and I'm not gonna lie, I have been procrastinating grinding cobblestone. It's just so painful. I can't wait until we have iron and I can make a cool cobblestone generator. The more I sit here and think about this cobblestone generator, the more I realize we are wasting quite a lot of precious resources in this cobblestone generator. We should definitely just make our cobblestone generator out of cobblestone and, and put it in the bunker. Yeah, let's let's do that. Where's my bucket? Hello, bucket? Oh, it's in my inventory. I'm fine. So I'm thinking we'll just expand the little safety bunker out this way and add in a little cobblestone generating platform that should solve all of our problems. It is this lava, perfect. And there we go cobblestone generator. It's like a weird little balcony. I like it actually, it's quite good. Still hugely inefficient, but you know, what can you do? Since we've got that, I also feel like we could probably turn this into an actual ladder. Now, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I just, I take that, thank you. There we go, sorry sugarcane. Now let's go ahead and grow all of this so that we can move it to a better location. The next objective that I need to take care of in this world is most certainly going to be getting dirt. Dirt in Skyblock is extremely valuable because well, we can't just go and mine it. I mean, we, we can, we have these little islands that we can get a little bit. It's actually a way in vanilla that you can duplicate your dirt. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. We'll get to that next episode. 
There we go, and with that, we are down to one single layer of dirt right here. And I'm gonna leave this here because this was our original island. Maybe we'll be able to do something with it in the future. Now let's tuck away these valuable seeds and dirt for now, and I think it's time to expand the island. Yep, there goes another X, just so you're aware. I've officially broken eight stone axes. And I think most of those were in this episode. There has been an expansion. Gosh, this place looks weird now. It's almost a little too clean. There's a sky block, where's the chaos? I think my goal is going to be turning this giant sort of rectangle into a circle or probably an oval because you know, ovals. So that means from each corner, we're gonna have to expand out probably by two and then by three to make them curved. Like so. I just think this would help a lot when we're expanding if we can just expand the circle every time. Circle is officially in and now I'm just going around with a little bit of spruce as sort of a trim. It's for the aesthetic, okay? The aesthetic. <gasps> we got our first iron ingots! Yes! Oh, that is so exciting. It's all coming together now, everyone. <laughs> oh, and I guess with the bones, we can also go ahead and do this. And yeah, we get some more flowers. Well, that's probably gonna bother somebody. I'm sorry, I'll even out our oval, eventually. Now that we've got a ton of bones, this glowberry farm can definitely move. We don't really need to be farming these right in the middle here. I went ahead and spent a little bit of time organizing the island, setting up a tree farm for the oak trees, the cocoa beans, and also spreading out our tall mega spruce trees. We get lots more wood. Now, the main thing we need is the actual farms. And unfortunately, that's the last of my dirt. I'll have to make it my mission to make sure that we get more dirt very soon. But for now, this is not a bad crop field. I am certainly feeling so much more organized now. Oh my gosh. We've got our fishing hut out there. Got our lovely mob spawner over here, which has already given us a few rare drops. Oh, let's see what this witch gives us. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. Oh, redstone. Yes. There we go. Witch Power advancement made. These custom advancements are so cool. Don't forget to subscribe and join me in the next episode where we are going to figure out how to complete our goal of getting more and more dirt. I have a feeling it's going to involve something very, very dangerous. We have a lot more expanding to do on this island and so many more adventures to have. If you're enjoying this series, please leave a like on the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.